Hey guys, it's Tuesday from Tuesday Music, and it is another episode of Tuesday Tuesday. I am just super excited about today's episode, because uh, it's not just any episode, it is actually a sing-along, so you get to sing along with me, which I'm very excited about. You know, when I first thought about doing this show, I actually uh, thought I will do it live, um, but you know, with COVID and everything, uh, there was just... I wasn't able to get musicians that uh, could commit because anything could happen, right? So we decided that we will just uh, record it. And even though it is not live, it is an amazing, it's going to be an amazing show and we are going to have fun, like a lot of fun. And there's a lot of stuff, like as I said uh, in the post, I have stuff for from age two to 90. 99 so we have stuff i have uh, prepared stuff for the kids as well and as the grown-ups in the room so i hope you've invited all of your family and uh we're just going to have fun we are going to have some fun and uh, i'm going to be doing a few songs but my very first song that i'm going to be doing this song is is actually a very beautiful song i love this song i've been singing this song since i was a kid since i was a child and Christmas didn't come without the song being played at my house back in Liberia. And even here in Canada, we still sing this song. So I hope you can join in with me. And uh, let's go back to that night. It was a silent night. Okay. So we're starting now. <laughs> to our sing along and we I have we have a lot of uh, great songs that we're going to be singing tonight together so feel free if you need to clear your throat uh, get some water and drink I'm going to get mine to get some drink but uh, we're going to have fun and for those of you who are just joining us today I say welcome welcome this is Tuesday Tuesdays and I am Tuesday from Tuesday Music as most of you know I am a singer songwriter and a full time nurse and um you know, we have been uh, talking about the holidays. It's been an amazing four weeks. I have had so much fun and 
I'm really, really glad that you're here and celebrating again with me. And, uh, you know, the goal of Tuesday Tuesday is that we will have fun. We will inspire each other as well as learn to love ourselves enough that we can learn to love others. And that is the goal. And so if there's anything you have that can make the show better, that can do that, I ask you that you please send it to us, you know, DM me, direct message me, or my contact is on, on the, uh, it's down there. So just feel free to send me those information. And as well, if you have not subscribed, please press that red button and follow me on my social media as well. So guys, we are still celebrating the holidays and our topic for today is Chris, Merry Christmas, sing along with Tuesday. And so glad you're here. Our next song is another beautiful, beautiful song. I think I've gained the right to sing this song because how long I've been in Canada. And uh, this song is actually for all of my uh, snow lovers and all of those, you know, all those people that, uh, yeah, let me just say, dream of white Christmas and, you know, the snow on Christmas Day. And it is no other but White Christmas. I will share this with you, though. It was funny because the other day I was working and uh, there was this uh, patient uh, daughter that came in and she said, oh, you know what? I just hope that it doesn't snow on Christmas Day. And I said to her, I'm like, well, I'm really hoping for a White Christmas. And she, I, and she was a little bit in shock, of course. Look at me. So, <laughs> but yeah, we need white Christmas. I think it's just beautiful. Like, especially if you're in a place where it snows, you know, it's the one time. Like, I don't cry for it, like, all the whole three months. But Christmas time, for sure, we want a nice white Christmas. So thanks for being crusty. He uh, very nicely put it. So um, we are going to go to white Christmas. Take a drink, clear your throat, whatever you do, fa la 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 la. 
because <laughs> we're going to have fun. This is all for you. So the next song I'm about to sing, actually, I absolutely love this song. So if you know anything about me, I am really big on happy endings. Yep. Even books I read, when you find me at a store, I let you go to the back of the book <laughs> and find out how the ending going to be before I buy the book. But yeah, I love happy endings. And this is this story, you know, this is actually one of my favorite Christmas cartoon. This that this song is in that that uh, that cartoon, and it is a it's a it's a song that actually you know you are nobody and all of a sudden you are a superhero. Do you guys understand? Did kids? Do you understand what I'm talking about right now? Okay, let me give you one more hint. It's all about the nose. I'm sure you got it. <laughs> I'm sure you got it. Well, before we go into the next song, so of course we're going to be doing Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Yep, you got it right. Good for you. And uh, just before we go into that song, I just want to share a quick, a couple cute jokes with you guys. So, all the kids in the room, listen up. What do you call a selfish elf? Do you know? Okay, here you go. I'm sure you got it, but here you go. You call them. You call him an elfish. <laughs> did, you get, did you get it? And then the next one, this is another cool one that I, I thought you guys might like. Um, so what is Santa, the elves and the reindeer favorite type of music? What kind of music do they listen to? Do you know? Of course, rap music. <laughs> Well, I hope you laugh, and I hope you're able to figure it out. And if you didn't, there's still more to come. So get your, your answers ready, and uh, we're going to have some fun. But most importantly, though, clear out your throat, get that drink of water, because we are going to be doing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You know Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen. I'm sure you did. I'm, I can totally, I can guarantee that you're singing way louder than your parents. So good job, good job. But guys, it's not the end. We have, I have a few more good ones for you guys. And, uh, but yeah, I love Rudolph. Rudolph, it's such a good story, you know. So kids, if you're in the room, you know, and you know, you think you look different. You think you, uh, you know, you don't sound like everybody else. You don't, you know, you don't like everything that everybody else like, you know. We were made to stand out, so why fit in? Because you just never know. That just might be something. Like, I can guarantee there is a reason why you stand out. Like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. What if he wasn't around? You know, there would have been no Christmas that year. So be proud of who you are and stand out. It's okay. Stand out. Because we were made to do just that. Okay? So, guys, our next song is... Another of my favorite, I'm sure it's yours too, but it's a little creepy, but, but I love this song. And uh, 
I'm sure you want some hint. Do you want some hint? Okay. So it's about a guy. You know, this time of the year, everybody's looking for this guy. Are you catching up? But anyway, he wears a red and a white suit. Huh? Are you getting to know? Well, he is coming to town. That's it. You guessed it right if you guessed Santa Claus is coming to town. Yep, that's our next one. So uh, just before we go into that song, I just wanted to give you guys one more joke. Another joke. So did you have you been practicing? Like I said, practice. Because you want to get this one. Okay, so this is it. What? Okay, not what. So here's the question. Why did the turkey cross the road? Do you know? Well, you know, when I first heard this joke, I only, I've only i always heard about why did the chicken. It was nothing about the turkey, but this is pretty cool. My daughter actually told me this one, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. She invented this one, actually. She told me that she just thought about it and, and uh, made it up. So why did the turkey cross the road? Okay, I'll give you the answer. I'm sure you got it, but to prove he was not a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. So much fun. So guys, we are going to be singing Santa Claus is coming to town. So grab your glass of water, clear your throat, because here we go. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. you out because that singing definitely paid it off <laughs> good job great job so guys we are going to be singing the next song is going to be a little slower i'm not saying you have to leave the room you can stay it's all about christmas and songs that you can sing to as well but the next song is a bit slower so uh you know you can still take it away but you know just i just want you to know that that is a bit slower but don't leave because we still have some more good stuff for you guys Okay, so uh, here we go, the next song. Well guys, we've been having a lot of fun. I know I have, and thanks kids, you guys have been doing an amazing job as well. Well, I was, like I was saying, the next song, our next song is a song that is actually a work in progress. It's not completed yet, so I'm still working on the song. I was actually working on this, I am working on this song for next year, next uh, Christmas. 
However, while writing the song and singing this song out loud to myself, I figure it actually totally, absolutely fit and just perfect with all with all what we've been going through uh, this year. So I thought I would share with you. And uh, by the way, guys, I just want to put out there that, you know, like I said from the beginning of uh, the, uh, the show that we couldn't get a live show, but we were able to, you know, what we've been having all day to all, all evening has been pretty amazing. And I just want to take a moment and say a big, big thank you. Thank you to David McRae. He is the mastermind behind all those tracks that I sent to. And uh, he's just amazing. Like, you know, when I uh, couldn't get musicians and stuff to commit, I reached out to him and he was just like that on the ball with limited time. He got everything to me in time to be able to do the show today. So thank you so much, Dave. Thank you, you are just amazing. Thanks so much for your help. And also I wanna shout out, send out a big shout out as well to Laura. Laura is a neighbor of mine who is a pianist. And she also did some a track for me for tonight's show. So thank you so much, you guys are amazing and I, I, I there's no words I'm just so thankful for uh, their help and everything to uh, making tonight a success so guys join me together and let's say a big thank you thank you so much guys thanks for all of your help and support to choosing music but as I was saying guys we are going to be I'm going to be doing the song this song that is a work in progress has not completed yet but I thought it fitting just perfect with this year. So I thought I'll share with you. So remember, it's a work in progress. Don't be too much of a critic. It's uh, it's just a work in progress. And um, just a little bit about the song though, the background of the song is, uh, so the song is about a girl, you know, you know how kids usually make a Christmas list and they, um, you know, get it out ready for it to go to Santa. But this, this, this girl this year, she's having trouble with making her Christmas list. And she tells us why and what is actually her real wish for this year. So uh, yeah, and yep, sorry to break the news to you, but you are stuck with my plane. And as you know, I am, yeah. My, the song I'm doing is a work in progress and my piano is a work in, yeah, very much progress. So, so, <laughs> so I hope we have some fun and uh, my fingers can find the keys. But you know what, guys? We're just gonna have some fun, and that's what we've been doing all all evening. So I hope, uh, yeah, join me and let's have some fun and uh, yeah, singing together. So the song is called "On Christmas Day." Here we go. For 
the baby that's crying in a crib, don't know why. Giving joy for the people that don't know love. God, grant them love. Grant them love. Ooh. Oh. This Christmas day. This Christmas day, oh, on Christmas day, mm. I want joy, peace, laughter, and love. That's my only wish this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's my only wish this year. That's my only wish. That every single person, everyone on this earth will have joy, peace, and laughter this Christmas. You know, we have gone through so much this year, you know, and uh, I wish that we will all experience love, joy, peace, and happiness this Christmas. And guys, what do you think? I don't think we did too bad. My fingers found the keys, so yeah. <laughs> but thanks for listening. And if you love the song, you know, comment below and let me know if you think it's a great song. Yeah, totally do it. And don't hesitate to share it. I know it's not uh, completed. Of course, it's not completed. So yeah, remember, whoever you share it with, tell them it's a work in progress. But I wanted to share it with you guys because it is, it is so related absolutely fit this year and uh well thank you so much for putting up with my piano and <laughs> everything but thank you kids for being around we've been having a lot of fun and uh yes our next song is actually is going to be a lot of fun <laughs> okay let me just get rid of the pianos and stuff and we are going to continue okay so the next song is my absolute favorite. Of course, I wrote it. It's my newest single, uh, Christmas Heart. I absolutely love this song. And really, it just takes me back home. And it, it, it actually is a song that relates to every single person. And really, really does reveals the true heart of Christmas. You know, I know it is, uh, it's not your traditional Christmas song, but... I do hope that it will become because it is actually a song that really does reveals the true heart of Christmas. You know, um, when I wrote this song, there was so much going through my mind at the moment when I wrote this song. And uh, one beautiful thing that I remember was, uh, um, you know, when I started to write this song, I went... Uh, to the internet to check, like, you know, what is people saying about Christmas? You know, what, 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 when you think Christmas, what do you think about? And almost all of the website I went to, uh, actually, one of the biggest, the, the main theme was that Christmas is a day that Christians celebrate. And, uh, you know, that is just a little part of Christmas. That is not actually what Christmas is. And when you listen to Christmas Heart, it actually does reveal the true heart. Christmas is not just for Christians. You know, the Bible says, for God so loved the world. It didn't say, for God so loved Christians. He so loved the world. So it doesn't matter whether you're a believer, unbeliever, don't matter where you are, like it says, don't matter where you're from, you know, Africa, Europe, you know, United States, wherever you're from. Christmas is for everyone because Christmas is actually um, about love, you know, that undeniable love, that love that we have, that unconditional love that we don't have to be perfect to have. And uh, that's what it's about. And, uh, you know, 
there's a part in the song that actually the end like says love on somebody this year and I added that part in the song because it's a, it's a part that really does speaks to me a lot and that part actually was added to the song because uh you know, when I was little, uh, back in Liberia, as most of you know, I'm from Liberia, West Africa, and I received a Christmas box from Christmas Operation Child. I don't remember how old I was. I think I was like, I was pretty young when I got it. But the feeling was just so surreal. It was amazing. But it's not just what was in the box. You know, it it it's actually the thought behind the box, you know, the love. I, there's actually no words than to say that, you know, it is just undeniable and it's absolutely true for someone that doesn't know me and would never know me probably, and I may never get to know this person, to think of me a total stranger and send me a box full of goodies on Christmas Day. It, it's, I'm not kidding, it's, it's, it's the love. The love of Christmas time. And I really do hope that, uh, you know, we will all remember that we are loved and that we can love on each other. We can love on somebody. Find someone to love on because it's so easy. You know, when you know, when you understand that you are loved, that's a true example. When you know that you are loved, you, are, you can love on people. Even if you don't know that, even if you would never get to know that, you can love on people. You can love on somebody. And so... That is Christmas Heart and it's absolutely one of my favorite songs that I've written. Of course, I write every day and uh, but I love, love Christmas song, Christmas, uh, Christmas Heart a lot. And so I do hope that you uh, will enjoy it. And if you know it, please absolutely join me. This is one song you have to dance to. Yeah. I'm not a dancer. I literally wrote a song called that because I'm not, but I cannot help myself when Christmas heart come on. So kids in the room, you know, get up, guys. You don't need to sit on the rock anymore. Stand up with me and let's dance to Christmas heart. And parents, too, let's have some fun and celebrate Christmas with Christmas heart. Christmas is for everyone. Christmas is for everyone. It's for everyone. Christmas is for everyone. Christmas is for everyone. It's for everyone. It don't matter. Where you're from, it don't matter where you live, it don't matter who you are, it don't matter rich or poor, it's for everyone.
somebody this year you know we have had a year we definitely have had a year and uh, not to be a party pooper or anything but uh, you know we're going back into a complete lockdown right after Christmas so uh, more than ever we need we need to love on each other this year and of course don't stop in this year you know next year and the year after and to uh, remember that I, like uh, Josephine Bacon, my, my favorite, one of my favorite quotes that I always use, she said that love, love waits more than go. You know, it does. So remember this December that love, love waits more than go. So loving somebody, loving somebody this year. Okay, guys, we have one more song to do, and I have some friends. Like, yes, I do, and they're going to be doing some fun stuff for you. These are actually... Two of my favorite people, yeah, they are amazing, upcoming singers, you know, they were in Christmas Hearted, they're amazing, and of course, I'm talking about no other than my two beautiful girls, and uh, they are going to be joining me for the next uh, song, and please, it is a song that everyone can sing to, dance to, and have fun with. But before the song starts, they are also going to be sharing a couple of things with you guys. Uh, yep, believe me, I didn't pay them. It's actually surprising. <laughs> they wanted to do this. So, uh, yeah, give them, give them, give them uh, credit for this. And I'm very, very proud of them. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, my older daughter is going to be sharing some jokes as well as uh, the younger one is going to be reading a quote for you guys. So, uh, yeah, and then after that, we're going to be singing one of our absolute favorite song, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. And uh, before we go on to that, I just really, really, really want to say, you know, it's been a year, but love love endures and love will conquer hey guys it's tuesday again and we have been having a great evening i am so very privileged to have spent the evening with you and your family and uh kids thank you so much all the kids in the room you guys sound amazing i know i i can see you but i know you absolutely sound beautiful in there and uh just uh my girls have joined me for the last song and uh they also have a few things they would like to share with you here we go we're going to start with Akisha on my right 
So I'm going to be doing some funny jokes. My first joke is, where do Santa's reindeer go for coffee? Tim Hortons. <laughs> no, definitely not. They don't. They, they're not very close to Canada, but they go to Starbucks. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, okay. My second joke is, what's the best Christmas present you could ever get? One with your name on it. What do you think? No. It is a broken drum. You can't beat it. <laughs> <laughs> and funny. my final joke is, what does snowman eat for breakfast? Yep, I know this one. What is it? Breakfast cookies. <laughs> breakfast cookies? No, it's ice <laughs> krispies. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's funny. <laughs> that makes sense. So good job, Akisha. Thank you so much for, uh, I think she's getting really good, as good as Thank I am you. sometimes. Thank but you. Uh, I think I'm still a better joke. Thank <laughs> you. But anyway, she, you did really good. Have fun. Good job. Good job. I love that. All Thanks. right. My name is Olivia, and I'm going to be reading a Christmas quote. Christmas is a necessity. There has to be at least one day of the year to remind us that we're here to here for something else besides ourselves. Very true, very true. Good job. High five. Good job. Very true. And it did great, don't you think so? I'm like, good job, guys. Both of you did really good. Um, but no, so true. Just like that quote says, that Christmas is Christmas is a necessity. And uh, as we heard in Christmas Heart, you know, Christmas is a time of love. Christmas is a time of joy and it's a time of peace. And uh, we definitely, we truly hope that you and your family will experience that this Christmas. It is true, we've gone through a lot this year, but you know what? The love and joy of Christmas remains in town. We are so grateful to have spent the evening with you. And uh, please clear your throat. We have one more song for you. And please, all of the kids in the room, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I know you were singing out louder than your parents. So great job. Bravo <laughs> for you guys. Uh, so yeah, this is one last song. So yeah, for sure. Let's do it. One more song and that's it, okay? But thanks so much. And keep singing one more song. Thank you.